Let me ask you, you even get sense. Why you go show the world saying they beat with oxygen? We think they walk you. Okay, you can't keep something secret, Abby. Must you bring everything to the world to see? Must you bring everything online? You're asking her why is she hiding from the social media? Ah, now I see. Now why they beat um, Lemon Blue and Black post them online? I beg you to watch this video. Tell me what you think for comment section, I beg. If this guy makes sense or not, let me know. So I'm not gonna see. Why is it that you did not involve the parent on time? Why is it that you did not involve the parent on time? Because if you want to finish it, then at the end of the day, they will not tell me he's at the hospital. And when I get to the hospital, this guy is gone. So they will put the blame on me. Because oh, it's obvious that is what you want to do. <sighs> like, I've not said anything since because I have a lot to say concerning this. A lot to say. <laughs> I went to church. I left my husband. It was fine. It was okay. Just that he's feeling weak and that was it. The time we're talking in the room, we're talking about his health. That was part of the reason we're talking about. We're talking about his health. And before Mary came with the video and everything, I was going to church that Friday and I told him that, okay, do you know what? I don't have his doctor's numbers before. I've never collected his doctor's numbers. But that day, I had to collect his doctor's numbers from his phone and he saw it. It was with me. I said, okay, I'm going to church and I'm going to call the doctor your own doctor to come and treat you to come and check up on you in case there is anything because i know i'm not there with him <laughs> and that was it i left to church and i called the doctor told him everything that how it was faring and everything now on my way home on my way home somebody had to call me from the hospital that mary and wise one brought my husband to the hospital lifeless like for once, why will you people hide it from me? Why will you people hide it from me? The same way it got married to you is the same way it got married to me. Getting to the hospital, Mary writes, only wife. So whenever I come and I explain myself as wife, nobody's going to let me in. But thank God people recognized my face online. This is not even the old thing. This is never what is even paying him. What is paying him is that this guy was breathing with his nose and all of a sudden he's using oxygen. Like, what result to oxygen? What result to it? I left you and my husband in the house. Can't you take care of my husband? Can't you take care of him? You claim you love him and you can't take care of him. <laughs> You're telling me you said your stomach was biting. What led to stomach is bite? What led to it? I left this guy in the house. It was okay. It was fine. And all of a sudden his stomach was biting him. Oh God, have mercy. This is not getting any better at all. This is not getting... His condition is critical. <laughs> His condition is very, very, very critical. I left my husband okay. He can talk, he can work, he can breathe with his nose. The only thing that was his problem is that he was weak and tired. And now I'm meeting him at the hospital with oxygen. And you expect me to be okay. You're coming online to, to, to claim what? To claim what? When I came to the house from the hospital, you were taking his car key, you were taking it, you took his briefcase. What I asked you a question, I said, where are you taking the car key and the briefcase to? And that briefcase contained all his documents, both his house documents, everything. It contained all the documents. You don't know how to drive. Where are you taking it to? Or it's obvious that you and wise don't want to elope with all his documents, all his properties. Because I don't know why you claim that you love somebody that is in the hospital. You left him. You came home to come and take what the the most important thing, and you are telling me you are not even you are not you are not there for the property. You are telling me you are not there. Can't you just wait for this man to recover? You can even wait for him to recover so that people can talk of your divorce or anything. You could not wait any longer. The next thing you could do was to put on black and black to the hospital. So it's obvious that you people want to just finish this man. It's obvious if people want to finish him. What led to you coming to the to, coming to the house, taking his car key and his document? Where are you driving to? You don't even know. Okay, you've even because I know you can't drive, so it's obvious it's you and why is not I want to elope with his with all the, the document and everything that contains that contains the most important thing in this house. And you expect me to keep quiet? You expect me not to talk? 
So it's obvious that you know what happened to him. Probably you've shouted at him. Probably you've pushed him. Probably you've given him something. Some substance that he does not even know about. The next thing people could do is to take him to a quack wretched hospital. A hospital that I don't, I don't even know the name. I've not even seen the doctor up till date. I haven't seen the doctor. I know, of course, if people are hiding it away from me, the next thing probably is enemy that people are going to say is me. If something happened to him, they will say it's me. Me that don't know anything. Me that I just came all the way and all of a sudden I received the call. And you are telling me, telling me that I, I traced Victor. Of course I have every right to trace Victor if I'm to trace Victor. If I'm to trace Victor, I have every right to trace Victor. Why were you and why is one hiding it away from me? So I'm not going to see. Why is it that you did not involve the parent on time? Why is it that you did not involve the parent on time? Because if you want to finish it, then at the end of the day, they will not tell me it's at the hospital. And when I get to the hospital, these guys...